In this video, we're going to talk about the uh, Canvas Speed Grader. This is a really great tool for grading assignments in your classroom. It really makes it easy um, to see the submissions and to grade via rubrics um, and leave comments and, and, and etc. Um, there are a couple ways you can access this tool. One is through uh, the Canvas Grades area or the grade book. Uh, which we showed in a previous video, and the other is through the assignment itself. So we're in the uh, hypothesis assignment here, and you'll see there's a speed grader button. I just click this button, and it opens up the uh, speed grader, and it opens up an ungraded submission uh, in the speed grader. Uh, so you'll see here there's no grade or anything for this particular student, Arthur Miller. Um, so I'm going to start just kind of showing the layout of the speed grader tool. In the upper left hand corner we see the student that I'm currently looking at. I can click the drop down and choose any other student um, that I want to grade and you'll see that there'll be a checkbox there that's highlighted if, um, if, they, if they've submitted something and it hasn't been graded. For those that have submitted something and it's been graded you'll see there's a checkbox there. So I can easily see uh, which which submissions I've worked through and which ones I haven't yet. Um, the other way you can navigate is just by clicking the arrows next to the student's name so you can go back uh, to a previous submission or forward through another submission. Um, you'll see I'm on student three of six. I can easily get back to the gradebook if I want to or, or go back to the course homepage. Uh, this tells me what assignment uh, in the, over in the kind of in the middle here, what assignment I'm in and what course I'm in. Uh, the due date for that assignment. Uh, you'll see I also have some other additional settings that I had in the gradebook as well, which is I can mute the assignment if I want, so if I don't want notifications being sent out, uh, I can prevent that. I can go into the settings for the assignment or I can get additional help if I need to. Um, you'll see I, I also see information here about the average grade for the assignment. Um, and then here in this larger window is the actual submission itself. And this is one of the great features of this particular tool is that um, regardless if I'm submitting via a Word document, a PDF, or some other kind of document format, or in this case this is a link uh, to a web page, uh, it, the submission displays inline for me. So I don't actually have to download the submission, view it uh, as a downloaded file, make annotations, and then upload uh, back to the student. I can, I can do all this grading and everything right from within the, the, the speed grader window. <clears throat> You'll see here that I have a submission date and timestamp. Um, I can click in here and I can immediately put a grade in if I want to, but I also have access to my rubric. So I can click on a rubric. So if you're using rubrics in your class, you have access to the rubric um, for the assignment right within SpeedGrader. I can basically click on elements of the, assign of the rubric that they have met, um, and then I can hit save, you know, and it's going to save that information in the rubric, and then I can also give them a grade. Uh, for the assignment and then um, and then also I can leave comments and another great feature of the canvas speed grader is um, You know I can type my comment in if I want to I Can leave a media comment so I can click on this media icon and I can leave uh, You know a video audio video comment um, I can upload media if I choose to um, and I can so I can submit comments uh, in different ways so I can just choose audio, I can choose media, I can choose uh, a file if I want to upload a file. Um, and then I can submit the comment. I can also just type in text. And the great thing is, is that students also have access to responding to your comments in the same fashion. So if a student wanted to leave you a video comment, they could, and you would see the discussion uh, in this discussion box here. You would see their responses to your comments, and then you can have a conversation about a particular assignment through the SpeedGrader tool. Um, another nice uh, feature of the SpeedGrader is that it is available as an iPad app. Uh, so if you do have an iPad and you want to grade on the go, you can do that. You can connect to your Canvas Classroom, um, and then you can have access to the SpeedGrader tool. You can use your rubric. You can, you can see the assignment in line. Um, and you can also leave media comments uh, with the iPad app as well. So it's a really, really powerful tool. It makes it easy for grading. So I can simply uh, submit a grade and then click to move on to the next, uh, the next student in my list or you know, drop down and, and choose a particular student that I want to grade. Um, it, lets, it makes it very easy for you to um, 
very, very efficient, I guess, for you to uh, grade assignments in the classroom without having to download uh, submissions. You can see them in line, um, respond all from within the same, the same tool.